Creating and hosting a website costs money. But it doesn't usually cost money to browse the web. How does this work? Who is paying for all this? What are they getting out of it? Websites can only continue if they somehow partake of a source of money. But it makes a lot of difference how they get the money. The devil is in the details. Some websites make all their money by selling you stuff. To these sites you are a potential customer. They will entice you to purchase stuff. If the site survives on one-time purchases, then they have incentive to lie, cheat, and steal to get your money. Examples include real estate and car sales. If the site depends on repeat sales and returning customers, they have incentive to be honest and trustworthy. Examples include things like Audible, iTunes, Newegg, and the New York Times. Some websites make all their money by referring you to others. These sites live or die by advertising and click-through rates. They resell your time and attention. They have incentive to resort to clickbait and sensationalism. These sites are usually great for entertainment, but their facts may be false or misleading. Examples include BuzzFeed, USA Today, and the Daily Mail. Some websites make all their money by harvesting stuff from you and selling it. If they're open and honest about it and return fair value to you, this can be ethical. Google is scary and creepy, but they are mostly ethical. If they are sneaky and dishonest about the harvesting, the result is indistinguishable from open attack. Many websites try to maximize their revenue by simultaneously utilizing all possible revenue streams. Usually, this is bad for you. So, for example, the CNN, MSN, and KSL sites attempt to project honesty and reliability in their news and editorial content, but they make little effort to audit or restrain their advertisers. So, a visit to their sites can include manipulation, malvertising, drive-by downloads, and web tracking that persists after you leave the site. Paying close attention to the funding of websites can help you avoid deceit, manipulation, and compromise.